I made so many changes to my gaming room in the last 12 months but I still can't say that the new version is complete yet and as much as a lot of people will be satisfied with the way it looks there's still a few things on my list that I want to add to it so I'm going to be going through that list and explaining why all these items are essential to complete in my gaming room I've been playing games in the fun house got big names in the fun house I'll be in my lane in the fun house fully entertained in the fun house fun house fun house fun house fun house I've got a lot of units and cabinets to store collectibles in and when I turn all the lights off it makes it a bit difficult to appreciate any of the collectibles so the first thing I want to talk about is spotlights now in the other version of my gaming room I had battery powered puck lights in my cabinets that I bought from Amazon and LED strips behind my units to light them up but the problem was that the puck light batteries would die after a month whether I used the lights or not and the strips would only silhouette what was in the unit now don't get it twisted I still want to add LED strips behind my units to give the units that cool glowing effect but I also want to light up the inside of the units with lights that I don't have to consistently spend money on for batteries so I've been looking at some of IKEA's smart LED spotlights now the spotlights being smart isn't an essential thing but since the majority of the lights in my room are smart and voice activated then it's a theme that I'd like to keep going rather than having to switch off a plug socket to turn the light on or off another great thing about them is that they're LED so they won't consume much power so you can leave them on all day and still not have to worry about running up a crazy electric bill coming away from the spotlights and the units but still staying on the topic of lights is some wall lights for the wall art on the back wall because this is another area that you can't appreciate in the dark and what's the point of having great artwork if you can't see it there's a lot of options for this product and if i'm going to be honest i'm still not 100 percent on which one i'm going to go with now I can go down the art gallery look and grab myself some wireless painting lights to hang above the artwork and shine the light on the artwork from above. These types of lights are proper practical with timing functions, colour temperature, USB charging and a remote control to control them with. The only problem with these lights is that they don't go with my smart theme. And I also can't promise that they work well enough when it comes to my Spider-Man Wolverine artwork because it's such a big picture. Another option is Govi's Cube Wall Scoances, I think that's how you pronounce it, which were my original choice. The reason why these lights will work well are because they come in a pack of six and they're powered by a plug. So that means no recharging and in theory they should be a lot brighter than a battery powered light would be. A few other sick things about these lights is that they're multicolor lights so you don't have to consistently have them white and they'd make a cool background light for when I'm filming content and they're app and voice operated so they work with devices like Google Home and Alexa keeping the smart theme of the room that I'm going for. The cons about these lights is that they're all wired together and I've read reviews that the power cable is short as well so if I want to hang them above the wall art I might have to use an extension lead which could make the place look a little messy with cables hanging all over the place. Another good Govi light option are their glide wall lights. Now these lights probably won't light up the actual art but they'll add a cool glow around them and once again make a cool background for when I'm filming. These lights are made so you can design them however you'd like them to be displayed in your wall. So I could possibly make a cool design that works well around the frames of the art hopefully making the wall art look a little bit more attractive. Once again these are app and voice operated lights which goes with a smart room theme. The last lighting option for the wall art would only work for the two smaller art pieces and that's a light box frame from Gallery Panda. Now conveniently these wall art pieces are made by Gallery Panda which is how I came across the light box frame in the first place so their artwork would look perfect in this frame. The frame's plug powered and the light in it is an RGB one that comes with a remote and an app to control the colours. The only setback is that it's not voice controlled but I can't lie I'd be okay with that for this one. It's also super simple to swap out the art pieces as well so you can stock up a collection and change them as you please. So that's all the wall art lighting options that I'm looking at to complete the room and as I said I'm not 100% on which one I'm going to choose but I'll keep you the updated which one I do go for. The next thing I need to complete the room is speakers for the console area. Now there's bare options when it comes to this but let me start with the most simple option which is a soundbar. A soundbar under the TV would fully enhance the audio coming from the TV in quality and range and it would look cool mounted under the TV as well and while that might sound like the way to go 
With a big room like this, I can't help but think about a multiple speaker setup for full surround sound to help me feel more immersed in whatever game I'm playing or movie I'm watching. And it will be good for when I'm playing music for when I'm cleaning up the room as well. The only problem with the second option is that's when things start to get really expensive. With a good quality home cinema system starting at £900 and if I'm honest to myself, I don't think I value sound enough to pay that much for something like that. Not in one go anyway. So what I might do is buy a great quality soundbar and bit by bit buy the other speakers to go with it. So I'd spend the 900 minimum but in bits and pieces rather than in one go. The next thing I want to add to the room's completion is more of an upgrade rather than something I don't already have and that's a new worktop for my PC area. So the worktop I'm currently using is a lag captain from Ikea and even though it does the job it's very lightweight and it marks way too easily. Now the problem with it being lightweight is that I'm thinking about adding a third monitor to my setup and if I choose the mount on top of my current monitor using the desk mount then I don't want to risk the worktop not being able to handle the weight of all three monitors and the PC and collapsing. On top of that with me consistently unboxing products on the worktop I'm always scratching the worktop which actually shouldn't be happening because most of the products aren't heavy or sharp enough to be leaving any damage on the worktop. Now I've spoken to a few people with some great PC setups that have experienced similar issues and they said they fixed the issue by swapping out the worktop with a kitchen countertop. So I've been looking at IKEA's Ek back and countertop which I'm able to get cut to the exact dimensions that I need which will solve another issue I have with this worktop which is the gaps between the worktop and the wall and the worktop and the display cabinet. The other great thing about the IKEA countertops is that they come with a 25 year guarantee so I'm quite sure I won't have to worry about it collapsing anytime time soon. So those are the main things I need to complete my gaming room. Any other things are just some minor things like doors for the IKEA units, plants for the room and more artwork for the wall behind the sofa. But those things are more to enhance the aesthetics of the room more than to complete it. As soon as I've added these things to the room I'll be ready to give you guys a full room tour and breakdown of everything in the room. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that. But that's my full list so far and I'll make sure that I make shorts when I'm installing all the stuff so I'll keep an eye on my YouTube, my Instagram and my TikTok. By the way, if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and if you got any suggestions of anything else I should be adding to the room, let me know. Anyway, that's me guys, I'll speak to you soon and thanks for watching.